What's Gucci everyone? I hope you're having a great day. I know I have been and well this in this video I want to make a quick and nifty kind of um get video of things that I've learned and get and that I kind of want to get ingrained in my head and I kind of want to see if you guys like it too. And what we're going to learn about is how to squash commits and re-merge it with your master branch. So what you're hopefully looking at here is my terminal. Um, don't worry about um, any of these kind of things but just know I'm in my projects direct. I'm in a project directory of my Ruby of my Ruby projects I'm doing, and then I'm on my master branch right there. So um, one way to check which branch you're on quickly in Git is to use Git branch, and it will show you all your branches. And there's a star and highlight next to the branch I'm on, master. And so simply, what we're going to do in this video is, if you the power of Git is that a lot of people can program. A lot of people can program and work on one project, but and and make a lot of changes. But you can you are able to fluctuate with those changes and kind of put in your own changes at different times. And so you can kind of incrementally work on a project. And you always hear in industry, oh, do you know Git? It's really important to know. So one thing. So let's work out this. So I'm on my master branch, and what I want to do is I really don't want to um, put code on the master branch until I'm sure it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a branch. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do with git checkout b. And git checkout makes a new branch, but the b option automatically switches me to this branch. And so I'm going to call it practice because I'm really not doing anything here. And so I, I um, made the branch and switched to it. And the way you can make sure of that is do git branch. And now you can see practice is there and it's highlighted just like master was when I was on the master branch. And it says it in this blue, in my blue command line, which I have custom edited, blah, 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 because I think I'm actually good at this stuff. So, <laughs> no, trust me, it, it takes way too long to get good at this stuff, guys. So what I do next is simply, let's say I'm on a new branch, so I can start making changes that I want. I can do whatever I want. I can start deleting stuff. I can start doing that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply make some files. So I'm going to do touch a.txt. And I'm going to now add that, and I'm going to commit that. And I'm going to say add a.txt, and so boom, there we go. And now if I do a git log, you can see all these commits, but then you can see... Uh, oh no, it's not there because I have not actually properly... I haven't properly pushed it. But anyway, so if I do... What I can do is I can do, you know, a git... Let me see if I do a git log. Added a text, no, because those are all my pushes. So <clears throat> those are all the commits to the, um, you know, remote repository, and not my, uh, not the commits that are just indexed into um, kind of the indexing area, which is how you commit things. So what I want to do, or push to my user repository. Sorry, the staging area is what you add things to. Your working directory are things that are not added. It's a little bit hard, but there's basically like there's basically there's one, two, there's four staging areas that you can revert from. So let's say now I, so but I did commit there, and let's say now I'm going to create b.txt. And so I do that, I'm going to add it again, gadd dot, gadd dot, ga dot is just an alias I made. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's just git add dot, um, command added b.txt, so I'm going to add that. So on branch practice, nothing to commit. So why doesn't it, so it didn't think that I was, did something. So let me echo bb, okay, so now it recognizes that I have a change here. So it, it recognize, when I did get status, it recognizes the changes that I made in my working directory versus, um, my committed file. So it knows that I modified bx b b dot text. So I'm going to commit that with um another message modified b.txt. And so I did that. And then on changes not stage for make commit, that's because I didn't add it. See it didn't add it because I just created the file and I actually needed to put something in it. But when I was practicing this that seemed to work. So now it says I've made a change and that I have an insertion. And so now that I made that commit it now says that I modified b.txt. So I was wrong. So in my current list of commits, it says I modified b.txt. And so now let's let me modify a.txt here. And yeah, so now when I do get status, this video is going to be long because I messed up. 
when I do get status, it says, you know, I modified A, so now I'm going to do git add, or ga dot, which is my commit, git commit m, um, you know, I'll just say a dot txt. So yeah, so now I have these two commits, and if I do git log, I have these two commits. I have a dot txt and b dot b dot txt, as you see right here, which is pretty nice. So now what I'm going to do is I've done all these changes on my practice branch. This is what I was getting to, guys. Sorry if I'm taking too long. I've been staying up too late, too late watching um 9/11 conspiracy videos, man. They're crazy. They really get you thinking, and I really do think something was going on there that no one knows about. But I'm trying to be funny at the same time, but I don't know if it's working. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And so now I've got all these changes on this branch, but it's not in my master branch. But now I want to integrate it back in. But let's say I made, for instance, 100 changes, or I made 50 changes. I don't want to merge all those changes back, all those changes back in, because that will show up as um, kind of one big giant commit. <clears throat> Is that, no, not one big giant commit. That's what I wanted to. I, it will show up as 50 commits, and it will be really confusing because you want to make a branch kind of per feature you're working on. So maybe you're implementing like a um, UI feature like a button. Then you make a branch, create the button, make sure it works, and then integrate that back in. And you really want your commit message on the master branch to be created button and implemented. You don't want it to be, you know, added font to button, added. You, you don't want it to be all these little steps. Instead, you want it to be just the one big step because then your um, git logs will get out of hand and this is how a lot of industry does it so I'm just going on this if you don't agree that's okay so the way you want to do this is the way I can turn those two um, commands into into one commit these those two commits I just made into one commit is I can do git rebase I and the I stands for interactive and the way I also need to do git rebase master so I need to put it against the, and dang it, I spelled master wrong. So I need to do git rebase master here. And as you can see, I have it give me sublime by default, but it may give you VI. We'll give you a text setter basically. And what happens here is now I'm getting both of my commits. If you have more than two, um, it will have all your commits here. So if you have 100, they'll all be listed here with the message. And it'll have these words next to them, pick. And you'll see here in this command kind of swatch is what you want to do. You want, if, this is how you kind of can, you can reword commits, you can edit them, or you can squash them. And what we're going to look at is what you're going to use 99% of the time is you're going to use squash. And what it does, it's me it um, melds everything into the previous commit. So what you can do is I can simply change pick to S or squash. And then what it will do is it will put all those things together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the latest commit and I'm going to squash it with a dot text. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to exit. And so now what it did, what it did is it pops up another kind of um, view. And what it does is it's now squashing the commits together. And by default, what it does is it creates a commit message where it takes both of your commit messages and squash and literally squashes them together. I'm sorry, it puts them together. I don't want to use squash so many times. And so now this is my new commit message, but now it, it says it modified a dot text and b dot text, even though there was different commits. So now it's kind of molded them all together, merged them all together. And so now this is my commit message and I want to edit this. So I'll just say, so now you want to edit this too. So I'll just say modified b dot text and a dot text. And so now, and then you can, you can leave this message up. I like to get rid of it. So now I've converted this text message only this, only this code doesn't get method um, put in. The um, hashtags are comments. Actually, those get put in too, but the user comment um, doesn't get put with hashtags in. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to exit. And then it's going to say successfully rebased. Hopefully, it's going to say successfully rebased. And then I'll get, do git lg. And now, instead of um, what, two commits, I now have one commit there. So that's pretty cool. But I'm still on my practice branch. I haven't merged these changes back yet. So what I want to do here is I want to do git checkout master, um, checkout master. And so now I'm going to get, I, oh dang it, did I? Okay, so now I'm going to, yeah, so now I'm on master. So now I'm going to do git lg. And as you can see here, it shows that my practice branch is ahead of my um, origin master branch by one commit. 
So my practice, so my pra my ma master origin branch, my master branch doesn't have the modified AB in text. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do a git merge practice. And so what it did here is now it fast forward my master branch and added those two text files, what added the contents of those two text files. And now that's pretty cool. So now I've now successfully when I do git lg, well, I'll do git log just for you guys. So when I do git log, and I can see my first commit is modified a, b, and text. Well, I guess I'll do git lg because that shows you now. It shows you that now my master branch is all on, mod my master branch is now on b.txt and a.txt. And my origin master isn't on it because I haven't pushed yet. That is my remote repository, and I'll need to push for that to go to my remote repository. And then hopefully when I do this command, now you can see all of my things, all of my branches, oops, all of my branches are on the head, the origin, the practice, my practice branch and my master branch are all at the same place because I've successfully created a new branch, rebased my commits, and merged it back in with the master successfully and pushed to uh, my remote branch successfully. Easy peasy lemon squeezy homie geez. Let's go. If you like the video, comment below. It really makes me feel good when you guys have good comments or if you think I'm bad because it's nice to know and it's nice to have fun helping you guys out. Uh, dang, this video is going to be long, and I know I lose audience retention fast, so have a great day. Hi again, everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. If you want to watch more videos of the same category, you can click over here. And if you want to watch any new videos and learn something new, you can click over here. Have the best day of your life.